Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome to Warframe. This is particularly Buried Deaths, update 24.4 on the PC. Now, unfortunately, it hasn't launched on console yet. And I, as you know, I don't review every little update that happens on PC. But this is a mainline update, so I'm going to go do an overview of it on PC and then, you know, I'll do one on console when it comes out. But yeah, this update actually has a lot of stuff. I'm going to read this first because this happened right when I logged in. So yeah. Phase 1, Flow. This is the melee overhaul. This is basically their, um, you know, <clears throat> what they have done so far for the melee overhaul. You know, melee 3.0 or the meme is 2.999999999999. 7? Okay. Tenno, your favorite melee weapon probably feels a little different today. <clears throat> today, we bring you Phase 1 of 2019's Melee Upgrade. We hope you love all the gorgeous new visual effects, streamlined combat, and high um, um, hit reaction. <clears throat> Head what you can expect. Let the gun and blade flow. <clears throat> swap between, basically swapping right between, um, you know. Yeah, swap between your gun and melee, like almost instantly. New depth by effect, above effects, new animations. And that was basically a summary, because we have a bit to cover. I don't want the video to go on forever. We all lift together, the E and the frame team. Let's continue there. <clears throat> okay. And let's claim this. We don't get on our PC account a lot. Okay. So it looks like that the Razorback is back on PC, so that's cool, I suppose. Look at this big, giant alert menu. We went from having no alerts to having billions of alerts, and oh, I see they also, okay, ooh, they also put some new stuff on, okay. So, World Cycles, they, it looks like they added. They apparently made it um, easier to see friend requests. I'll have to, I'll go to those right now. If you want to be a friend with me on PC, it's Warframe Madness. That's my name on here. No, not name on here, sorry. It's VAMP6X6X6X. Now, Morphe Madness is my YouTube channel, of course. So yeah, I just added everyone. In case you're curious, I'm using a controller. Okay. So, these are data hashes. Okay, this will probably contain spoilers for an event, so if you don't want any spoiler, definitely, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so here we go with this. I mean, we're not gonna do the event right now, but that is curious. Let's see though there. And it's even more curious to see the little, you know, alert thing. 
you know, with the word cycle, the time of day, and then some of the night wave missions, that seems, yeah, that is okay. Well then, but let's go further, deep dive, deeper dive than we ever have before. Um, Hildren. I think I'll put the Hildren collection on my wish list. Okay, so in case your guide were wondering, I, why I put the Hildren collection on my wish list. I, yes, I am a Wolfen partner, but I do not have day one access on my PC account. But yeah, we got the new Warframe, which is Hildren. The shield-based Warframe. Um, 300 armor, 0 energy, 75 health, and 450 shields. I know 450 seems like a little bit, but I'm assuming to scale similar to how Anaris did. Okay. And her passive become invulnerable for a brief moment after shields are depleted. This ability is restored when shields fully recharge. Okay, so that's a very equivalent of a shield gating type mechanic, and we'll definitely see how that works. I'll go more into detail on the uh, children, um, you know, actual review but yeah and limbo also got a deluxe skin along with hero cards or throwing cards it's essentially this is a throwing blade skin so yeah it's actually pretty cool looking i can't wait to actually get a hold of it myself and look at it now, I recommend getting the collection because just the skin does not come with the stuff. Apparently, I don't own the limbo. That's okay, though, I guess. I should probably build a limbo eventually, but eh, whatever. Okay, and that seems to be a... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. This. How could we forget about this? This is... Okay, okay, so you can buy the blueprint from the market here. I thought they would do something ridiculously hard for you to get it, but no, these resources are fairly common. This is probably the hardest resource that, you know, the hardest to get, but Overall, not very hard to get. That is the, you know, big two-bladed katana thingamabob. Which, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll admit, the tone update has been pretty cool so far. By pretty cool, I mean very cool. I like this update quite a bit, honestly. Let's go to our arsenal. Don't know why I'm going to my arsenal. Uh, no reason right now for the arsenal. Because unfortunately, we can't show you a lot of the updates here. Because, ooh, actually, there is. We can show you this. On the ability screen now. So, wait, so we don't have to. Okay, so we don't have to actually take this. We don't have to press, I mean, we can if we want. We can, ooh, ooh the ability screen even changed. Okay, well then. So we don't have to go here if we want. We can also show base stats. Now, I'll be honest, I kind of wish there were like a little thing. Okay. Base stats, new stats. 
I went through the thing here with, um, wait, how many frames did they hook this up for? Ah, no, okay, we'll find out later, I okay. guess. Okay, for science, mag should be fully hooked up. So as much as, yeah, okay. Ooh, and is it showing Mac Prime? Now, no, this is normal Mac. Huh, if I had a Prime, would it show the Prime differently than the normal variant? That's what we should check. Get to check on Ash Prime. But then again, we don't have normal Ash, but that definitely Ash Prime is showing. Wait, does it show the prime of all of them, even if it's like a normal variant? Like, I guess we'll check out the Excalibur. No, wait. But if we had Excalibur Prime, it would show Excalibur Prime, yes. And since we have Valka Prime, it's going to show Valka Prime, right? Wait, it even shows her with the assist on because mine had the assist. Okay, so it is showing my un wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just gotta test this out real quick, guy. That looks good. Okay, so it's showing my Valka. Okay, so if it's a Valka Prime, it would show up my Valka Prime. If it's not, it would show up. And that actually is very cool, I think. I think it's very cool. Okay, and that's what we're seeing there. So we're seeing all the ability there. The only thing that annoys me about this screen is it doesn't show the, you know, health stats. But it shows the passive and I remember hearing about the different tips from, you know, different players. And that is all very cool. Then again, like I showed before, if you go in here, it will show them here. Now, of course, they, I think they planned on showing some video off, maybe. But, I mean, there's a lot of Warframe, so videos might take a bit to show off. I'm curious to see if they have some videos. Yeah, like, see, they have Mag's videos right now. Okay. Well, uh, Tent Mag. Oh, okay. Okay, look, see, they have all of Mag's in action. So, right now, the static pictures are placeholders. But then they will have them in action. Upgrade, ability upgrade at rank 22. Okay, that's nice. That's good. It's telling me the details, and I like the detail. These are good details. Well, I did not mean to do that. Okay. And then the arc wing screen is new. Okay, that's nice. That is okay. Okay. Oh, that is, that is actually very good. I like this. This is very nice. This is very nice. Let's actually go through, there should be some patch notes that we got to check out. The new frame, we slightly went over the new frame. Limbo, we slightly went over the new, um, ah, okay. Okay, the new melee change it, channeling. Apparently channeling is now toggleable. Oh, and that one more thing we should probably look at why we're here. Here. It will be under here. Well, two more things because I'm curious about something, honestly. And I know this video is taking a bit longer, but 
There are two more things I'm curious. First of all, let's go to this for Nightway. Okay. Let's get back to it. Okay, and yeah. Under options. We're going to see some of the options. Okay. Okay, so no microphone enabled, that's good. I just know I risk it being enabled. Okay. Low reflections. And you know, I just want to see how much stuff is Yeah. Okay, character shadows. Interface, okay. You know, it's actually, this may seem like boring nothing stuff. It's actually important details, especially after they, um, they made it so nowadays that they don't officially support DirectX 9 or 32-bit Warframe. So you guys, Make sure that, you know, all your settings are correct and everything. And this is the controls. Okay. Let's see. Custom controller. Invert to hold. Tap. Melee auto targeting on. Target aim weapon. Okay. Let's see. The melee fire weapon input. Wait, melee with fire weapon input. Oh, okay. 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 Let's see. That actually all looks very good. Very fine. Very dandy. The tone list up here. You know, it strikes me as a little overwhelming, if I'm being honest, but you know what? That's perfectly fine. Maybe more on that in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Yes, I did touch my nose. And with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update overview. Keep in mind that it's for PC console Tenno. We'll be getting it in the future. Of course, and until then, well, not until then, I'll catch you guys hopefully in the next video. Later.